Tere Tulemas, uh, welcome to everybody. Hello, this is Javier Garcia Puerto, film programmer of Tallinn Film Festival and mostly also taking care of the Latin films which are in the program. And because of that, we are having now with us Augusto Sandino, director of uh, Suave El Aliento, Gentle Breath in the international title. International title because we are indeed holding the international premiere of uh, Gentle Breath in this 20th edition of Tallinn Black Knights International Film Festival. Hello, Augusto. Hi, Javier. I'm very happy to be here now. Okay. So let's uh, start this uh, friendly conversation about uh, your film. Uh, since the first time all the team saw the film become like in love with the unloved stories that we have in the film. And it's, I have the sensation that it's a story of um, people who are looking for love, sometimes finding it, sometimes getting it wrong, uh, mostly needing a hug. Uh, and beyond that, it's also a love letter to a city because Bogota is like a, another character in the film. So which is your relation with Bogota? Uh, to me, the film is a, it's a, it's a way of speaking about uh, the hardship we go through uh, uh, communication even as uh, even if we're really close to one another. So the the whole film uh, unfolds in the uh, during the day, 24-hour day, uh, and we observe this family um, despite be, they're being so close to each other in an era of uh, so much information and 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 communication. Uh, there's a uh, very little time to really get in touch with one another, so I so it, it's I take uh, three, four different generations and sort of uh, depict their uh, love feelings um, in a very uh, intimate and 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 um, uh, quotidian uh, way, um, and it's all in the framework of this uh, uh, city. A different part of the city, like a very, a very uh, working class uh, neighborhood, um, uh, where uh, it's just uh, I, what I was my, aiming at was uh, r real people, people that you you just uh, uh, see making a line in a, at, a, at a supermarket or, or taking the bus, or just these people that are rarely uh, um, represented on on, on Colombian film. Yeah, you mean that usually we are more used to seeing Colombian films, more stories related with violence and recent past and things like that, and you try to do something different. Yeah, there is a tendency to have Colombia, like in, in, in Colombian cinema, to talk about our our, our uh, conflict, our civil war, or the um, wounds that this has caused over 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 the years, and many of them take place in the countryside or. Or in the mountains, or like uh, uh, the the black population or the Indian population, and I really wanted to go the other way. Wanted to talk about just any Colombian who lives in in in, in, in Bogota and actually gets a chance to just to just have a regular life outside the conflict, which in a way it affects us all in different manners, uh, but. Um, mostly like uh, financially or or the way people start relating to one another is uh, uh, sort of a reflection of this uh, uh, situation that is really pressuring and 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 putting a lot of uh, um, conditions on our on our daily lives um, but the the idea is just uh, to just uh, be able to talk about these people and how they just uh, um, live life in a in a very apparently normal, but at the same time uh, uh, sad and, 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 and hopeless way. So, um, listening that you like go in different way than the usual or current cinema, Colombian cinema that we are watching these days, um, it seems like also your reference and uh, your cinematic reference are also others. When we see such a portray of a inner life of a city. We can mm, usually think in filmmakers as Othu, for instance. But it's, this one just came to my mind. Maybe you have other reference. 
I think as as filmmakers we see many films because uh, we love films and and it's it's like uh, writers read many books, you know. So we uh, uh, see films all the time, and I, I'm very like a big film buff. Um, but I don't try to think about it when when I'm when I'm creating a project or I'm working on a project because it's it'll it can just contaminate my 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 first intention, you know. Um, this film was uh, born out of uh, my um, observation of the city and, and the manners of the city. So the film is just about uh, those things that are not t said, those things that are not um, talked about. And um, so they're uh, very interesting filmmakers that, that sort of uh, um, work with these uh, uh, themes. Um, in Korean cinema, Asian cinema, and uh, and uh, I love Asian cinema, but it's not like I was like looking at like using any 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 filmmaker per se as a as a reference. It's just uh, I I thought I I'd be honest and 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 say and and talk about or portray this 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 universe that I was creating um, based on my observations and and previous thoughts. Not 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 like a direct references. Ref yeah. Yeah, you just say that. Um, you were based in some experience, and you try to be honest and what you know. So, what? No, or, or being honest, actually, like, <laughs> or at least trying. Um, actually, which was the source for creating these stories? Uh, it's some personal stories that you know about, some interviews you make, something that you hear in the line of the supermarket. <laughs> Well, I think uh, when you make films, you are um, always using your own personal experience to 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 sort of configure who you are, you know. So I think uh, uh, inspiration is just uh, paying attention to to whatever is around you and and maybe finding a way to transform it and give it a a different meaning. Uh, obviously, by making a film, you're just making a statement, and uh, hopefully, talking uh, about something specific. But um, in my case, I wanted to uh, portray uh, a regular working class family, and of course, I, there's uh, things about my family that are on the film, and there's things, uh, observations, and yeah, conversations I hear on the bus or on the streets, or maybe you know throughout my lifetime, I've I've seen this over and over. So that might become like a, a source of identity to 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 really pay attention to, and maybe uh, have it included in a in a film that is speak, that is uh, uh, about um, uh, just being. Uh, from Bogota and being from Colombia and not being able to communicate yourself, but I, I, at the same time I think it's not um, it's not just a very local film and it, it is it's not a rural film. yeah yeah you, you I mean you, 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 I, I, like coming to Europe you see people that are really into their phones and 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 and, and maybe in Asia as well and and sometimes they can't even talk to their brother or sister about how much they love them. This is like the, the thing that really uh, interested me when I went back when I when I made the film. And maybe my next film will be about a completely different thing. But I, I'm really um, uh, passionate about relationships and how you can relate to one another in, in, in at, at different levels, not just by, through technology or or regular um, uh, hello, how are you, small talk type of thing. But but also how like without words, how you can establish. Uh, a real um, tie. Well, what that was deep. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> are you thinking in your next movie already? Like uh, uh, already. with this, uh, because this, so the type of sentence you were doing, like is you were projecting already, like where to bring this family further. It's not going to be like a sequel to it, of course, but uh, through, like with my short films um, <clears throat> and other films that I've produced, I'm very concerned about um, uh, relationships. And um, I think, uh, yeah, my, my next project is actually, uh, we're working on it, and it, it's, it, it's also about relationships. I think uh, relationship, you can have a relationship to a dog or a plant or, a, you know, if you're gay with a man or lesbian with a woman or if you fit uh, 
uh, father and son relationship. I mean, it's all kinds of relationships. So uh, I'm, I'm interested in the different levels that relationships can 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 have and, and, and be portrayed on for, for, for cinema and maybe cause a reflection upon the, the public for this. The, um, the cinematography of the film, the framing, and how you try to portray the, the individuals, uh, the picks that there is uh, some strong artistical decisions behind it that make that the story go smooth and make the hope, hopefully, the audience identify with some of the characters that we have. Um, so, can you explain me something about this artistical decision? Like, for instance, make the film in black and white, or uh, betting more for the medium uh, takes, not, uh, I mean, medium frames, and long shots, and this kind of decision that. It's also another way to approach the audience to the stories. Yes, absolutely. The film was uh, conceived as a. At some point, I was going through old pictures, family pictures, and I like I opened one of my grandmother's uh, drawer, uh, for pictures and uh, albums and photo albums and all that, and I saw that many pictures have like faded colors. And uh, these are all family pictures with faded colors, and many of the people, on the like in the picture weren't there anymore. So I wanted to, this film to have this uh, um, fading uh, um, texture to it. Like, like it's not black and white, yeah. but it's uh, unsaturated uh, coloring. And it's, it's still, it's, it, it was uh, always uh, conceived this way. Um, because um, if I saw Bogota and all these characters uh, in full color. They, they, uh, I think it, it wouldn't be as uh, as nostalgic or as um, as, as 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 powerful. Um, so I, I that the, the color the, the color of the, of the film is, is is a very like it's a it's a miss and miss and miss and son uh, decision of course and 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 it would it would bring the a lot of. Uh, it's just a different texture, a different feel to it. As far as the shots, um, I wanted to have long, um, not compl not like long contemplative takes, but it just I wanted the whole situation to to, to unfold by itself. And uh, I, at first, I wanted to I didn't want to move the camera that much. I wanted just to be to be witnessing this intimacy within the frame, and 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 not be like a. Um, Crisscross type of thing, like uh, um, uh, over the shoulder sh uh, shot of the uh, one character, and then the, the 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 correspondent shot. No, I wanted to I wanted to find a, a point of view for the camera to just witness the whole scene and 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 maybe make the 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 the. There were two options. Either I had the the the, the viewer uh, feel uncomfortable by being like being part of this uh, scene or really boring. So it was a, it was a risk. <laughs> it was like, yeah. let's just make it really boring or really interesting. It's, 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 it was a fine line. And to, to some people it's uh, really interesting, some, to some people it's really, really boring, but the, 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 the bottom line is I, I, was, I was pleased by the way I, I was um, able to, 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 get in, to, to get into the, into, the, into, the, into the film. Yeah, you gotta you got be radical about it. It's yeah. like, you, you, I don't, I don't want to be make, make concessions. That is, uh, make, make it the right way. You know, it's, it's just, it's my, my vision, and I, that's something that I, that I, that I bring to, on to the table. Maybe well, people, people can either eat it or not. I don't know if I, I, mean, I don't know if I really agree with you, even if you are the filmmaker. Like, <laughs> like, um, it's a film that either you love it, either you not really hate it because it's not love and hate. You can love it, but if, if you don't love it. The other feeling is not really hate. It's like maybe you cannot become that interesting, interested on the film, but it's not really a film like for hating it because you know there there are other films that like like slower and then it's like okay I don't want to depending on the audience, mm -hmm. but uh, your film will still have some catchy moments that will engage some of the some of the audience. 
because this is like the way life is. You start a day, and then li like your day is probably really flat until something you get a phone call, and then you have to go somewhere, and that spins you off to a different situation, and there's a little bit of rush, and then you go back to normal, and then you kind of get bored. So this is like a, there's a lot of thought behind these things. It's not that uh, I want to keep everybody like like the film at a, at a very rushed and 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 and, and fun uh, to make to to please an audience. I wasn't like thinking, um, and I'm a producer too, and I think about these things, but sometimes I like be tr trying to uh, play, um, the, the, the trying to be honest, trying to be honest, was trying to just be, be, be uh, make a film that I really wanted to make three years ago when I shot it, you know? So it's, 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 a, it's just a film that, um, that shows how a regular day is sometimes it's flat and boring sometimes it's interesting some, sometimes it's witty sometimes it's sad sometimes it's, there's passion sometimes there's nothingness there is a but you know that's part of life and that was part of portraying um a 24-hour uh day in the life of a family so so sometimes it's, it's yeah people I, sometimes you um you can go like people don't like these kind of films it's like well, there's films for every for everybody. It's all kinds of drinks for every, all kinds of people. There's a, all kinds of uh, hobbies for all kinds of people. And this is uh, my my first film, and I, I I really wanted to be in tune with many of the thoughts I had three years ago. Now, if with my second film, I'm probably going to ma be making a different film. It's still going to be my film, but it but it's it's also a make making a film is a way of putting your thoughts and putting your emotions and 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 and, and maybe your your philosophy about life. On the on a, on a, on the screen. Do you want to add? Um, I've added a lot. <laughs> really um, thrilled to be here in Estonia. <laughs> it's it's no, it was just, it's it's very funny, funny, interesting that um, that I'm able to be, uh, you know the. Arctic Circle and a very far away place from 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 where this made from from where this film was made and and from where I'm from, so it's interesting to connect with audiences even though there is a huge cultural uh, gap. gap and yeah, uh, but films do this. Films uh, um, they they they're like bridges to 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 know all the cultures. Yeah, actually, now that you now, now that you mentioned that since we become a class festival, um, the relation with the Colombian cinema, it's been really tight, no? I mean, last year in the debut competition, we have Ana from Jack to Lemon, and then we have uh, Nacimiento, Delivery, in the international um, title, which uh, actually it won the main award for the debut competition, and now you have um, your international premiere here, also in the debut competition, but this is a constant thing that is happening recently with the Colombian cinema. What do you think about this blooming of new directors, new authors that are appearing in the Colombian scene? In the landscape, yeah. In the landscape, yeah. And also, sometimes they seem more present in international um, landscape than in the national one. When, it, when this whole thing phenomenon started out like 10 years ago, uh, making a Colombian film was like a big event, a big thing. And, um, and now, like every year, we're making more and more and more films, and that is great. Unfortunately, we're losing a lot of the audience because the audience is just into uh, just popular comedies and, you know, like everywhere else. But, um, but what is interesting is that these, these two films that you mentioned from last year's uh, selection, um, they're very different, you know, t from one, one t to the other, and and even to Suave el Aliento, and 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 to the other films that are uh, getting a lot of attention at, at film festivals. So I think what we are enjoying right now is that is is, is the diversity of Colombian cinema, and uh, just like it happened with uh, Mexico f 15, 20 years ago, and. Um, with Argentina and then Chile and then Brazil and then you know, Colombia is like sort of like on the map now, and and that's 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 great. Sometimes I think that for like huge film festivals, there's like a, it's like the World Cup. You have like five spots for like 
Latin America, and then you have like some other ones for the uh, Europe and uh, Asia and North America and all that. So, but so it's it's good to be there and and to show the world that like this place where where we're from. And we're happy so that that it's happening as well. So, thank you very much for being with us, and I hope that the film has a big success in their international premiere in debut competition. Aita.